Welcome back, everybody. Viral Showcase event is back. Yes, we love it. We love it. It's a fairly easy to get your points. And of course, as always, any events here that you earn points for, they go towards your scroll of fortune. I'm so behind. <laughs> However, I'm curious. Um, I've heard and seen some tweets where people had gone through it and paid to advance it and they didn't get the things that are in the paywall so I'm not sure we'll see we'll see but yeah because I've got all the way to the second one finished so it says that if just say I did tier 3 it'd be 1260 but if I only did tier 2 it'd be 140 crowns but this is just uh, two whole mega snack snacks and then this one is 10 keepers lore spellmen so yeah, I guess because I'm not quite there yet. I guess that's why. But anyhow, back to the Spiral Showcase. And also make sure you redeem anything you earned during the Beast Moon before Friday or it goes away. So this one, you catch a fish. You can get credit for 20 points per day. So the higher rank fish you're catching, well, it's going to give you more points for it. Feeding a pet a pet snack, one point per pet age up to epic. So... Yeah, this one you have to at least like go into the game. If you've done the game enough times, you can skip it. I personally like to only stick with Epic because once you're above Epic, it still costs more energy to do those, but you don't get more points for it. So I'd rather save my energy for the fishing. Yes, my younger wizards definitely have a problem with that one. And completing a daily assignment, doing one of those per day, you can get 20 points each, crafting an item, no transmutes, so... Oh, lots of stuff you can't do, but I will say crafting spell events counts as a transmute, so don't do those. If you want to get credit for it, you can do those anytime you want. And you can get credit for five per day, four points each, and helping a team in your two highest worlds. Oh, yes, yes. Hey, Roar! And of course, you can get credit for one of those team ups per day. But of course, you could do as many as you want, because, you know, you do get bonuses for getting a certain amount of team ups. Mm hmm. Speaking of that, I wonder what she's on for those badges, star. Ooh, we're still far away from whatever's after the team leader. Mm hmm. Now, if you have your house set up, you can use your house as the hub to go to all these different areas. Like me, I have a tapestry obsession. You may or may not have already seen this. So I have almost every tapestry. I've been slacking off on finishing my Mirage, defeating collects to be able to get it. But I can go to the bazaar from here. I can go to the pet pavilion from here. I can go to the arena, pretty much just about everywhere. Okay, so let's do the pet one first because we know how much energy we're going to use with that one. I think I have an epic pet. Let us check. That would be I. Okay, that would be ultra epic. Epic. Ultra. Okay, so maybe we'll do this one. So this one is only going to use 10 energy and I get the five points for it. However, if I were to put my fantastic, totally maxed out Magnificent Rex. It would cost 14 energy, but I would still only get five points towards the event. That's why I swapped the pet, put an epic pet on, and then if you have done, I think it's 50 games. If you have won 50 games in here, you can just start skipping. Skip, feed, play again. Yep, skip, feed. There we go. Makes it very, very fast. 25, thank you, thank you. 25 is what you need. It's been a while. Skip. I don't want to play any. And I've already forgotten what I'm on, so just open that thingy and see. Oh, we're done. Okay, next. Let's see what our daily assignment is for today. Mm hmm. Oh, we get to do a marshmallow and gumdrop forest. For your daily assignment, make sure you're paying attention to where it is because a lot of worlds have the same creature, especially Wizard City, in different areas. Like, do you need a rotting fodder from Triton Avenue or do you need a rotting fodder from Dark Cave? Because if you go to Triton Avenue and you kill one, you're like, uh, why didn't I get it? Hey, look, my elephant's broken again. <laughs> I think my elephant is secretly on roller skates. But anyhow, let's get a team up start head. I really don't want to do Man of Course Madness. Just saying. Okay, we've got some fires over in Maxine's office. Ooh, Unicorn Tower. I'm not sure if I've done that one. 
Hmm. I don't know what they're farming in the first tower. Well, I guess we can attempt. Oh, wait, look at that. We got some more people. While that one is counting down, we can, let's see. Let's go to Caramel. I don't have a tapestry for Caramel. By the way, uh, the, what's it called? The, the one, the very end of Lemuria, the very end battle. That one, you gotta be careful of doing team up with that one. If you're doing the version where you flee and then come back, you will not get credit for it. So don't do that. You could do like the easy mode. Bad habit. I thought I could just use the force and go, but it didn't happen. Good thing is, once you're done with the team up, it'll boot you right out there and you're just good. Hey, yay, I don't have to uh, extract anything here. Ahem, where's our extract dog and cats you promised? <gasps> yeah, so depending on which team up you end up doing, it could be really, really fast to get your points. Or you could purposely do a long dungeon. Maybe you want some of those spell amends, maybe you want some of that gear. Yeah. Ah, oh, you guys, wow. Can we like get a, like a more epic version of this? It just ugh, hits everyone with like, I don't know, a wall of spikes or something. Don't do it. I'm gonna say, don't be hanging. There we go. And it says 20 special event points. So we got it. So cool. We get anything from here? I mean, they're farming in here, so I don't know. But once you go out, I'm gonna get kicked back to Caramel. Kick the booty. Yay. I do have spells, right? Yeah, I have spells, so. They are flaming, flaming marshmallows. I had some last weekend, so good. Ugh, I love it. Love marshmallows, roasting them. Yes, I'm talking about that around you, you little marshmallows. Okay, doke, so we got two things out of the five done. We got the daily assignment and we have the team up. Oh, that's not true, we did three. We did the feeding of a pet snack. So let's go back home and go craft something, which for me is always the Beastman Seeds because I use so many of them, but there's so much stuff you can do. You can craft seeds, you can craft pet snacks, you can craft treasure cards. You can craft just about anything as long as it's not transmute. You can even be like my lowest level wizard and craft, ah yes, the Dagger of Absolution. That's what he had been crafting before. So let's see, I don't have room in my shared bank to give these. So let's just craft a bunch. And yes, we have plenty of the storms all done. And that's our five. Now we just need to go catch some fishies. Let's get some gold. Let's get some snackaroonies. <laughs> and some treasure gods. All right, do I get anything? Yay, look at that. I got Lunari. Yes, 50 whole Lunari. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm walking. We don't walk, we port, we lazy whiz, pow. Hey, this would be a good time to use up all of the plethora of fishing elixirs I have instead of forgetting about them. Um... And the book mounts, man, I got too many over here. Well, I just have too many mounts in general. This house only has mounts in it. That's it. There should be nothing else here except those. Yay, storm school. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm, I guess I'll try and get lucky with, I think it was this one. Hey, little cute little uh, dolphins. <laughs> I almost forgot what they were. Well, they're so big. Hey, where's my orc amount? You teased it years ago. Where are you? Ooh, that's new for me. It's an epic fish. Yeah, you got that right. <gasps> Rank three. That's pretty cool, but that's just me. Hey, why don't we actually like see what we got? Cause those doodles are worth two. <gasps> Look at that, we're wasting energy. <laughs> I mean, we already, no, we haven't used this one yet. Oh my God. Look, hey, there's a spot in this house. That's like over in Skull Island. Yes, I appreciated the joyness of that picture with all the horses, excuse me, unicorns on their side. I love it. The whale, I think, is still the best one because it's the largest mount ever and having it all knocked over like that is just ridiculous. All right, I think we actually finished it all. Yeah, we got 100 points for today. So depending on what you decide to do for your team up and where, if it takes you forever to decide which house to fish in or just what area to fish in, that'll make it go a little bit longer. 
Even with fooling around, it's only taking me 37 minutes for this one wizard. It's not bad. Can I wish I did something more? Mini games. You know what? Hmm, that jousting. <laughs> I really want to do that. We should just get people randomly go over there and joust each other. Of course, you could technically only joust on the, well, jousting destrier, destrier, whatever it's called. Yeah. What was I going to look at? Oh, yes. Any points? Points over here? Anything? Yay, I can get another elixir. Is it fishing? No, it's an XP boost elixir for once. But I will wait until the next world comes out before I use that. Yes, yes. So that's not bad. If you have stuff that takes a really long time, only takes you half an hour to do it, not too bad. 